We'll continue talking wellness this morning. I'm so excited about my next guest. Now, she's an international speaker. She's a radio talk show host. She's a mentor, and she is also known as the happiness coach. She teaches people how to live and create empowered and joy-filled lives. She's going to share some of those tips with us this morning. Marbeth, thank you so much for being on with me today. <laughs> Bill Murray got to live the same day over and over again on Groundhog Day so until he got it right. But we have to live each day uniquely. And so I am so happy today <laughs> to be here with you to share with you the four things you must never do before you get up in the morning if you want to have a happy day. <laughs> now, Marbeth, I love that little opening right there. And how true is that with Bill Murray? He did get to live each day. Absolutely. You know, until he got it right. But you're so right. We have to live each day to the fullest and and that's what you can teach people to do now before you get into those steps Marbeth tell me how you got to become the happiness coach well it all started for me four years ago on Valentine's Day when the light the love of my life was taken from this earth by a heart attack and I had the choice right then and there whether to curl up in a little ball of grief would have been so easy to do I chose happiness Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful that I did. I'm so passionate about helping other people be happy. Well, I can tell you definitely are very <laughs> passionate about what you do, and it's contagious. So that's awesome that you were able to turn the strategy in your life into something really positive. Absolutely positive, and mm -hmm. life is so good now. We don't have to hold on to the old, into the, the emotions of grief and sadness. I know that our loved ones really want us to be happy mm -hmm. even though they may have passed we have our emotions but we don't we are not our emotions mm -hmm. and the love is always there but we can release those emotions it mm -hmm. doesn't have to be very difficult now Marbeth let's hear some of these tips that you have as to what we need to do every morning when we get out of bed Tell well, me. <laughs> <laughs> well the first thing you don't want to do is I call the Lindsay Lohan Mm -hmm. You don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be stuck in the path, mm -hmm. past. You don't want to be stuck in the past. You want to be in the present. The present is the pivotal point of power. And when you're stuck in the past, you're not living for today. You're stuck. Mm -hmm. The second one, I call the Paula Dean. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and this is, they don't make crystal balls the way they used to. <laughs> <laughs> But you don't want to worry about your future, right? No. You don't want to worry about the future because, again, the present is where we have our power and where we can choose to be happy. If we're worried about the future, we're not here. Mm -hmm. So we want to be here right. because that's where we can be happy. Right. So don't look into the crystal ball. Just let it go, right? Let <laughs> it go. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. I love that. Don't worry about it. Let it be. The third one I call the Congressman Wiener. Mm -hmm. Because we don't want to send bad vibes out to other people. They always come back on you. Mm -hmm. But we want to send out good vibes to other people. We want to send out blessings and love because that always comes back to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good and one. <laughs> isn't that good one? And then the fourth <laughs> one I call the Paris Hilton. Mm -hmm. We don't want to blame other people for our bad behavior. Okay, <laughs> okay. We want to take responsibility for our happiness, for our thoughts, for our actions, and that's how we can be happy. Mm -hmm. So these are great. So these are more steps of what we shouldn't do then in the morning, Marbeth. Yeah, and but also what we can do. I mm -hmm. have a happy formula, too. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me. Share the happy okay. formula with me this morning. <laughs> H is for heart. We want to be in our hearts. That's where we connect to ourselves, to our, our inner being, and live truthfully, and where we connect to all of our brothers and sisters here on this planet. Mm -hmm. This is this is really has so much more magnetism. The heart is much more powerful than the brain. It is five thousand times more a greater magnitude than our brain. That's been proven scientifically. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. You're telling me something I didn't know. <laughs> Very yeah. interesting. It makes total sense, though. I Definitely. know. And now there are a lot of benefits to living positive. I mean, it really can just affect your overall health, can it? Absolutely. And while the A in happy 
is appreciation. Mm -hmm. You want to appreciate everything in your life because everything in your life is a gift. Bad things happen. They happen to everybody, but you can choose how you perceive them. Mm -hmm. If you look at it as a gift and ask yourself, what can I learn from this? You're already 10 steps ahead of somebody who's going to be thinking, oh my God, this is so awful. Mm -hmm. You say, yeah, this happened, but I can move forward. Mm -hmm. The P is positive, just as you said. The mm -hmm. P is positive. You want to be positive. And when we have positive thoughts and positive perceptions, you can't help but be happy. <laughs> Very true. And the other P is for play. When you're playful, you're not sweating the small stuff. Mm -hmm. That's one of the traits that happy people have, is that they don't sweat the small stuff. They stay happy. Mm -hmm. You can. Mm -hmm. It's a choice. Mm -hmm. And the why is for you. You can choose to be happy. Mm -hmm. It's your responsibility. Right. And it really all comes down to you. It all comes down to you. Because mm -hmm. you have the choice whether you're going to wake up in the morning and you're going to be happy or you're going to not get out of bed and Absolutely. have a bad attitude. Who all have you worked with, Mayor Beth? Like, who are the people who most benefit from your services? I work with all different kinds of people. I work with people all over the world. I work with them by phone and by Skype. Because I find that everybody has experienced a loss in some form or another. We've all experienced hurt or loss. And it doesn't have to be the death of a loved one. Mm -hmm. It could be the ending of a relationship. Or there's lifestyle losses if people have lost their homes. Or they've lost a job. Or they've lost their health. Mm -hmm. These are all losses. And then there are also hidden losses. Hidden losses are more difficult to, to really be aware of. You may have lost your personal power in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You may have lost your self-respect. Or maybe you're concerned because you don't feel as beautiful as you used to be. Maybe you feel like you're getting older. Mm -hmm. These are all losses that people aren't even aware of that they're experiencing. And I find that when we experience a loss, that's where we get stuck and it blocks our flow of happiness. Mm -hmm. And when you're in a state of happiness, that's when you attract all kinds of wonderful things to yourself because you're in the flow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. no, it makes, <laughs> no, it makes perfect sense. And I, I 100% believe what you're saying and believe in, believe in what you're doing. And I think it's great, Marbeth. I, I think it's wonderful. And you've written a book as well that people can purchase and pick up. Tell us about it. Okay. Well, I have the book is in is almost ready. Mm -hmm. It's called the thirty. It's called the Joy Strategy: Thirty One Days to Joy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's going to be available very soon. But in the meantime, for our viewers, I have a free ebook called the Seven Steps. Seven steps to unlock your joy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is so free. Seven steps to get unstuck and unlock your joy. This is great. I knew I'd remember that. <laughs> seven steps to get unstuck and unlock your joy. It's absolutely free. You go to my website, which is yourjoyjourney.com, mm -hmm. and you can just download it for free. And so you can pick up your copy of absolutely. this book online, and it sounds like they can be on their way to a happier life, right? <laughs> they can totally be on their way. Well, this is my... My mission, I have a big mission, and I want to bring joy and happiness to millions of people. Mm -hmm. Well, you're doing it. I mean, you've got such a great passion. I'd like to have you on every show in the morning. You can make everybody happy, all right? I would love to do that. <laughs> do I have to move to Key West? Yeah, because <laughs> you are located in South Florida, I right? am located in Miami. Okay, born and raised? No, 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 okay. not born and raised. Okay. But I've been. A, I went to University of Miami. I'm a Florida mm. girl. You're a Florida at heart. girl. Well, good. <laughs> well, it has been a pleasure having you on this morning, and I think your tips are just great. And I hope people can use them, and they can go online and pick up their free copy of your guidebook yes. to live in, live in happy and being filled with joy. Thank you again for being on this morning. Thank you, Jenna. Mm -hmm. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. I hope that you'll be able to join me again right here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care and make it a great day.